Hi, welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Usually I don't do other people's action figures, I usually print my own, but just recently McFarlane Toys have released a series of Warhammer 40k, that's Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop, action figures, and they did one of my favourite armies, and that is Necrons. I do like myself a Necron, so I thought, you know what, let's take a bit of a break from Norm reviewing 3D prints and 3D printing files, and let's have a quick look at an action figure. It's very close to my heart. This is a Necron Warrior. It is uh, a skeletal evil android which has been infused with the spirit of a dead creature called a Necron Tear. Basically they're Cybermen but creepier, weirder and a bit more Lovecraftian. They're from the dawn of time and they want the universe back. Now, let's have a quick closer look at this guy, shall we? So in the packaging, we have got the Warmer 40K brand new branding there. That's their new icon. I've just changed that with 9th edition, which has just come out in the last few months. So moving up, put his weapon there on the right. It's his Gauss Flayer. And these guys, unlike the older figures, uh, actually have some fair amount of wear and tear. These guys are a couple of millennia old, maybe even more. So they have got chips and breaks and smashes in them. And yeah, it looks like they've got a nice paint job on them. And uh, they've also got a scarab there, which is one of their little associates. They have dozens of them flying around them, basically that tear people to pieces and shred anything from tanks to, to light infantry. Let's flip it around. On the back we have got the Space Marine, Yawn Boring, and uh, the Necron Warrior, which is uh, much more interesting and exciting, and I'm a lot more interested in them. There's a bit of uh, sort of necron -y art there off to the left, and uh, at the top we've got the uh, Warhammer sign again, and uh, on the side, this side we have got a close-up of the Necron. I think that's probably got a lot of filters on it and a lot of orange lights on it because it doesn't look anything like that in the package. It's nowhere near that bright and shiny, which is good because they're not meant to be bright and shiny, they're meant to be old, decrepit and fallen to bits. And this side we've got McFarlane Toys and another version of that weird sort of biomechanical HR Giga artwork there. Although it's not by the man himself as he's dead, it's pretty much inspired by him with the whole biological biotech horror stuff. Okay, let's tear this open and see what it looks like inside. Right, inside we have the Z figure. He is attached by these things. Let's uh, get out the uh, folding knife. Slice those open. And let's see if we can't pop them out. Okay, so here he is. Yeah, he's quite cool. I like the way his neck's all sort of stooped over. He's in this sort of hunched position where he's old, ancient, and decrepit. Eyes are glowing quite nicely, I like those, although I don't know. Is it just my eyes or does it look like he's got sort of a, a squint? There's less green on the right eye than there's the green on the left eye than there is on the right eye, but uh, I don't know, it kind of makes him look a little bit more sinister. Like it's a slit for a mouth. He hasn't actually got a mouth, but they always have the mouth drawn in. These things can't eat, breathe, or drink, they are purely soulless machines. Um, there's a nice wash over the uh, over the gold, and he's all got he's got lots of let's see if we can get get in a bit closer there, see if we can't focus it in a bit. There we go. Yeah, he's got some nice slash marks across him where he's uh, worn, worn and torn, and even on the uh, cartouche on the front, they've got slashes going on and divots out of it. And on his head as well, they've got sort of cracks and smashes, and even a sort of a, over the top of his head there, he's got a nice furrowed brow where he's been damaged between his eyes. It's very, very cool. Uh, 
yeah, he's, oh wow, he's very, very articulated. He's got a ball and socket joint there, onto another ball and socket joint there. That's really quite awesome. And uh, yeah, he's well, quite stiff, but uh, after a few moves that actually lightens up a bit. There we are, so yeah, he's got articulation of shoulder on his elbows and uh, also on his hands as well, which is cool. Yeah, and they move backwards and forwards and he's got a little pivot under his rib cage there and at his hips and uh, yeah, his waist as well. Talking about joints though, there's a lovely wash over the gold, but the joints are a shiny silver. That kind of betrays the whole ancient feel. I don't like the fact that even, even on his waist here, they put a little bit of wash on it, but not a huge amount. I'm gonna probably put some uh, wash in there myself, actually. I'll probably redo his eyes, and uh, yeah, put some uh, decent dark wash on the silver there to make it look ancient and old, because at the moment, that's standing out like a sore thumb. Uh, his feet are fairly, oh, uh, no, they've got, they've got toe, they got toe movement as well, I love that. Right, let's see what else we get in the box. We've got his Gauss Flayer, which is the weapon of the Necron Warrior. They also have Gauss Reapers, and quite frankly, I would love a Gauss Reaper in this because it's the new gun. The Gauss Flayers I've had for years, but yeah, that's kind of nice. Oh, the damage is done to the pipe as well here, but um, yeah, that could have done maybe being painted silver or maybe a little bit, a little bit of uh, darker green in there because it just looks flat. It also looks like it's made out of Play Doh or something. And the paint drop at the top there is a little bit slapdash. Might have to redo that as well. I'm gonna, definitely going to put um, one of the new uh, Necron paint washes over these green bits because they just look like jelly beans here at the moment and I want them to be a little bit more awesome than that. Also the silver. Once again, more silver. Would it have hurt to put a little bit of a little wash over here? I'll come to think of, of detail when it comes to McFarlane toys, but yeah, I'm not too happy with that gun. But and also, it's black. Yay, it's a black gun. There's no wash, there's no dry brushing. If there is, no, there's no wash or dry brushing on that. That needs to be dry brushed as well. Unimpressed by that, McFarlane. Then we've got the little Diddy Scarab. Once again, all the same things that are wrong with it are wrong with it. All the same things are right with it are right with it. Lots of nice detail. Very nice consistent paint job, absolutely no weathering whatsoever. This thing looks like it's just been minted and made out of the factory, which it shouldn't be. So yeah, that's gonna get a good dirty wash on it as well. Okay, so standing up, he actually looks quite formidable. He's sort of very, very sort of long and lean. It's sort of like a metallic skeleton as it would be. So yeah, his feet, he's got the scarab there. Yeah, and he balances quite nicely. Got the gun there. Going further up, yeah, his arms sort of clip onto it quite nicely. His hands grip onto the gun very nicely. It actually looks like there's a, some effort going into actually holding the gun. It's not just resting there, he's actually gripping it, which is quite cool. Uh, the wires coming down from his chest, once again, why do they have to be gold as well, but don't show up without the gold? Why couldn't they have been silver or maybe some black on there as well? I'm gonna give those a paint and a go. And, Oddly enough, the face with the one eye slightly painted more than the other makes it look slightly comical and loses any kind of the cosmic horror it's supposed to have. So yeah, I'm gonna have to probably repaint the eyes as well. So yeah, nice figure, good articulation, half ass paint job. Leaking over in some bits, some bits haven't had any effort putting them whatsoever and the eyes just look ridiculous. So yeah. A out of 10 for this. Great figure, let down by the presentation. Okay, McFarlane Toys. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at the Space Marine Intercessor at some point, but at the moment, this is the Necron Warrior and Scarab. Great figure. Try harder with the paint job, guys. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. I'll be back later on this week uh, with some more 3D printing videos. In, that, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, keep printing.